Please read the disclaimer. Welcome, I'm Bio, and today we're playing some more PlayStation 2 randoms. I had no clue that this would pop up next, considering very recently we played a game developed by the same people as uh, as this game. So this is Jetix Puzzle Bob Buzzle Jet Bob Buzzle Buzzle Je Jetix Puzzle Buzzle. Uh, if you're not familiar with what Jetix is, I uh, probably aren't. If you're in America or Canada or something, uh, basically, you had Fox Kids. I know you had Fox Kids. We had Fox Kids as well. But whereas I think you guys continued to have Fox Kids, ours changed to Jetix, which surprisingly is owned by Disney. Believe it or not. As, it, as you can see it said there. Um, and we had this like little mascot. And I would never think on my life. Like, obviously there's the Fox Kids Micro Ma Maniacs racing game I had to look at. Off the PlayStation 1. But I had no clue that Jetix would have their own game. <laughs> there's only one. There's this one. Came out for the PlayStation 2 and Nintendo DS. And believe it or not. This game is developed by Broadsword Interactive. The same people that made the Snow Queen quest. Great yeah. And uh, it was published by Blast, and obviously Blast Entertainment are a piece of fucking shit uh, <laughs> publishing company. They're able to get pretty much any license they kind of want. I, who know? How, I don't know how they do it, because uh, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, they're the ones that published the Home Alone PS2 game. How the fuck did they get the light video game license to Home Alone, ha where, where there hadn't been a Home Alone movie in fucking years? I don't know. I don't know how they do it. But this game came out in 2008. So yeah, you know, I'm not expecting much. I've, I've seen a little bit of the demo. It looks like a standard budget puzzle game. That's what it looks like. A beginner or whatever. Let's just, we'll just dump, jump into it, see what kind of shit we're playing with here. Play, pretty much playing with shit here. So there's the old mascot, the old one-eyed robot thing. Oh my word, what is this? Okay, so I'm guessing... What are we doing here? Alright, number one, there's no music here. I have no fucking clue what I'm supposed to be doing here. What is this fucking dog shit? I don't know what this is. What am I supposed to be doing here? I, I feel like the opponent's having a much easier time than this than me. Oh, I win. I think I'm supposed to get it up to... Am I supposed to... I fucking no clue what I'm supposed to be doing here. I won somehow. Maybe I'm supposed to reach the spaceship? I guess there's there's no music here unless uh, the music's bugged out. Wouldn't surprise me. I wouldn't imagine the emulation for this is particularly good. Keep in mind, obviously, that this game. Oh God, stop giving me the fucking same shit. Oh God, this keeps giving me the same shit. Right, it's not going as well this time. I 
I think we're supposed to get to the spaceship, but who honestly knows? I, pff, not a clue. Not a Scooby-Doo. And there we go, I win again somehow. I, I guess I'm supposed to get to the spaceship, but then, technically speaking, couldn't I just grab whatever and just tower up as much as I possibly want? But I have a feeling that's not the point of the game. Like I said... I do believe there's music here. But I, I hear, like, like, buzzing, error kind of sounds, kind of shit going on. So it wouldn't surprise me if the music's just not working. bit weird this game it's, it's pretty basic and then i win again look so yeah, you're supposed to keep on towering, but you got to make sure you don't, like, it's alright to leave, like, one or two gaps here and there, but you've got to try and make sure you don't. It's a really simplistic puzzle game. For the Nintendo DS, I'm gonna say, this is fine. This is fine. For the, If this was a Nintendo DS exclusive game, I would have no issue with this. I would be like, that's kind of fair, or whatever. It's still not a great game, but fine. So it's not exactly difficult. Like, I just, I, I'll just keep playing this. Like, for the PlayStation 2, this is just... And then I win. <laughs> uh, what is it? I, I, I'm not even paying attention to what the opponent's doing, but what the fuck is he doing? He's just failing miserably. <laughs> I know I'm on playing beginner, but come on. All right, I think we're going to pause there. I think we're going to call it there. <laughs> so, it's a really basic puzzle game, but it's got a little bit of uniqueness to it. I don't know if it's based off anything in particular, but it definitely doesn't belong on the PlayStation 2. It, you know, this is just a piece of shit on the PlayStation 2. On the DS, though, portably, you got to remember the Nintendo DS, it's a portable factor. 
if you're into puzzle games, and let's be honest, this is slightly different. It's like a variation of Tetris, basically. It is kind of like a various... It's a very basic variation of Tetris, but still it's something different, isn't it? Portably, I have no issue with this. If it was sold as a shovelware title for a cheap price, no issue whatsoever. But as a PlayStation 2 game, no, it's not really worth it. No, it's not something I can see people sitting down and playing on, on a home system, you know what I mean? So I don't really understand why there's a PlayStation 2 version of this game. But as a DS game, fine. It can exist. But yeah, Jetix Puzzle Buzzle, it's it's an okay puzzle game. It's some it's just a variation of Tetris, basically. Eh. For the DS, fine. For the PlayStation 2, shit. Well, kind of shitty. You say, I think it's pretty. I'm 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 creating like pretty reasonable when I'm saying it kind of doesn't really need to be on the PlayStation 2. It could be just a DS game. Anyway, see ya.